<laughs> well, I'm Ranger Cookie, and I want to show you my poor man's Tinder. When I was a kid, I used to do the paper route with my dad. I would use these rubber bands, fold in the paper, and put a rubber band over it. And we used to have rubber band wars, and usually no one wants to play with me. I'll show you why. Uh, we used to put a bunch of rubber bands on our finger and fold the paper, put a rubber band over. And I learned this is like a machine gun. I can quickly shoot a couple rubber bands. And a quick, quick, quick sequence. And plus, excuse me, plus that I can hit you so hard it will go through sheets of paper. Let's find out how many papers I can shoot or band through. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna do five. Let's see what happens. I got me a little target here. Now, never try to steal or rob me with me with rubber bands in my hand. I could switch, take a rubber band and pop you so hard in your face, you will be blind. <laughs> Imagine that's your eyeball and I hit it with rubber band. <laughs> Do you want to mess with me? Let's have fun. All right, uh, let's see. You sure you want to play rubber band war with me? If uh, you know, just one page and I put a big dent in it. Let's do that again. That was five pages, so I took one off. All right, let's find out. After this, I'm gonna show you my poor man's Tinder. All right, let me get my rubber bands. So if anybody want to play rubber band war with me doing the first annual meet, I'll bring it back. But I don't think you want to play rubber band war with me. You will, you will definitely feel the pain. Now, that's four pages. Let's see if I can go through it. All right. That's what I can do to you. If you try to rob me, and you can see a big indention, I went through two pieces of paper. There's a little magazine you get, but <laughs> let's do it again. Let's have some fun. Two rubber bands. Are you ready? Two rubber bands and f give me your money. Oh, what? You want me to give you away? Oh, I finally broke them because I I've stretched them so bad. Look at that big dent. See that big old hole right there? One. Barely two, but. I ain't gonna go far. I can knock it off the dam. <laughs> Having fun with rubber bands today. That's all I do is put these on my finger like that. If I had some rubber bands and you try to rob me, and I got rubber bands on my finger, and I hit, I can pop you in your face, you're gonna regret it. A big imitation of the dip there. One, this one went to one, but you see the damage I can do. I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, three pages up and we'll see if I can go through them. Yep, after this, I'm gonna show you how I make my fat lighter. When I was a little kid, I used to take these rubber bands and put it in a bag, little garbage uh, paper bags that we had. And I'll fill the bag up and I'll put some gasoline in it. And, like, and see if it'll melt 
the, the rubber, but it didn't ro melt the rubber, it just made it expand and absorbed all the gas. And I'm like, damn, that's pretty cool. So I uh, pinch a little hole in it and light it. That thing whew, doesn't blow up, it just stays lit for a while. So, like I said, if any of y'all want to play Rubber Band War with me, I'd be happy to play. That's two. And, uh, that's it right there. This is a, a tore the page off. And there's my rubber bands. That probably been in your eyeball. And look, bam, all the way through all three pages and knock the pages off the magazine. All right, let's take a look at my uh, poor man's dinner. Follow me. <laughs> I just turned off the camera. She so will get seasick. I see you in a few seconds. All right, I know I'm blinding you, so it's uh. There we go. All right, this is what I have in a little can. You see the little rubber bands I got? There's a few rubber bands, a little handful. And then we'll see what happens. I'm gonna place it down at my clay stove and I'm gonna light it and walk away. All right, let's find out. I'm gonna put you over here. All feel sorry for the can because uh, I do believe the can's gonna be I lost a soul. Alright. Alright, here's my fat uh my poor man's tinder. Let's see how it works. Um there's a guy named Nat. I'm sorry I got your name wrong, but he's pretty good with making poor man's tinder. So here's my poor man's tinder. I use rubber bands with a little gasoline. I absorb the rubber bands. And I usually put it in a bag and not in a can. So see what happens. And see how long it burns. I forgot to turn on the timer. Oh, dang you. Oh. Yeah, I saw, uh, what's his name? I'm going to get your name right later. I saw him playing around with the poor man's tender. I'm like, damn, I want to make mine. And show you how, what mine is all about. It's just a little bunch of rubber bands soaked in gas. And the rubber bands absorbed the gasoline I had in the can. And it should burn for like almost an hour maybe. Uh, I don't know about if it's waterproof like yours is. Or your Maypalm is way better than this. Uh, I don't know. I have to do a test. So it's been almost almost 30 years since I lit one of these. So I hope you enjoy the flames. So the flames will burn with you. I'll play some music for you while you watch. <laughs> Alright, I know this is going to be boring, so I'm going to stop your camera and let you uh, wait till it's almost out, and I'll turn you back on and see the inning. But I can't time it that way. This is one of my flashlights I like to use. They're pretty bright light. They got three modes on it. So, that's the brightest. The dimmest. 
medium and super bright. Oh no, <laughs> that's super bright. Show you how bright this can light is. And also got a red light for those army people. They can't see us with the red light. <laughs> oh yes, they can't. Hey, watch the fire, man. You here for the fire? <laughs> Damn you, boy. I didn't test my the clay stove after I created the, the bigger the bigger mound. But I noticed it takes not that much wood to to cook food now. Since it's higher, it should not even take much that much wood. And with a little fan at the bottom, I should have made a uh, uh, a forge. I also been making um, poor man's tinder here with some gasoline and some um, some styrofoam cups. Like he said, it don't take much gasoline. Now, I only, I only put that much gasoline and I made, that's like 20 cups in there so far. Resolving. And there, hey, it gets rid of all those styrofoam cups you got around the house. I'll tell you that for a fact. I had tons of them laying around. Now I have zip, zero, because of this Vaseline that absorbs them, absorbs all the goodies. And there's my, the real Mapalm. I learned something from you guys. <laughs> my hand smells like gasoline. Damn you, boy. Not recommend to cook over this fire. Uh, it's very toxic, black smoke from hell. It has gasoline in it. Well, uh, the water test didn't work at all. It, I put that out real quick. But it sure does give a good burn. <laughs> Alright, the water tests with my maple, not maple palm, but uh, Oh shit, it's boiling in there. Um, the water just put it out like, like it was nothing. But it, it's a good burner. It's just rubber bands. So... Uh, my test with water, it failed like a firecracker. Damn you, boy. So I'm, I'm eating some poor man Flint from... From, uh, what's his name? Nat, Nat, Nat. Sorry, you're a new person I've been talking about. Now yeah, forgive me. Let's take a look at that real quick. I saw what it is, it's like a burnt tire. And it's not good to cook on, it's just too good to start your fire. Uh, I still recommend the real poor man's tinner with using the styrofoam. Because that's the first time I've ever seen that 
I didn't know you could do that. And that was kind of pretty cool. And I didn't use the same thing he had. I used styrofoam cups, McDonald's cups, the styrofoam cups you get at the restaurants. Still looks like it does the same thing. I got a little jar right there. And that's about it. I don't think this thing's going to do anything else, but... Alright, I'll ring your cookie and see what happens.